Nola Gent here, and in this episode, we are in Tracy City, Tennessee, at the Dutch Made Bakery. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. The Nola Gent ended up at this interesting location after I had a busy morning exploring the caverns for a cave tour, and then I had a great lunch at the Simply Southern Cafe, right before stopping here at the Dutch Made Bakery. Make sure to check out my Middle Tennessee playlist that I will have a link to at the end of this video to see those adventures. Speaking of adventures, it would be really great if you smash that subscribe button and hit that little bell to stay informed of my new videos. You can keep following my adventures here on the Nola Gent channel. And it also really helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. The Dutch Made Bakery is in Tracy City, Tennessee, which is located on the South Cumberland Plateau. The Dutch Maid Bakery was opened in 1902 by Swiss immigrants John and Louise Bagenstoss, who moved to Tennessee in the 1880s. This history makes the Dutch Maid Bakery the oldest family-owned bakery in Tennessee. The Dutch Maid Bakery was burned by a fire and was rebuilt in the 1920s. The bakery stayed in the Bagenstoss family and extended family until 2003, at which point it was closed. The current owner, Cindy Day, saw the bakery for sale while visiting the area and decided to purchase the bakery and restore it to its former glory. Cindy purchased the bakery in 2005 and Cindy and her family reopened the Dutch Made Bakery 18 months later. So this is both a bakery and a cafe. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation, the cafe portion was closed for indoor seating and dining, but you could order to go. So as we walk around and explore more of this outside, this is the diner section here. And you can see they have a nice sign right there. And they have a sign telling us that we need to go up to the bakery instead of going inside to this cute looking diner section. And they have some nice signs here. Then they also have their Tennessee Heritage Trail sign here with their Tennessee Backroads Heritage recognition for the Dutch Made Bakery. So it's a really interesting place with a great history. Being the oldest bakery that's family owned in Tennessee is a pretty unique designation. So this place is definitely much more than just a bakery. So as we walk in and start exploring, they do have a lot of antiques in here as well and offer all sorts of interesting items. So this definitely is a tourist destination. Let's go on inside and look around. And wow, it is the most unique looking bakery I've ever seen. It's almost like a little treasure hunt to find all of the different baked goods they kind of have uh, hidden away in all these different cases and different types of displays. It's so interesting the way they have everything laid out here. It is such a fascinating way to go to hunt down and find your items that you want. It's uh, definitely an adventure looking for all the different items that they have in here because you get to see so many different things. It's almost overwhelming with all of the uh, different antiques and other goods for sale interspersed with the baked goods. Every nook and cranny in here is filled with something fascinating and often delicious looking. So it's really hard to decide among all of these really wonderful looking items just full of baked goods and all sorts of wonderful items that I sort of would like to stuff my face with right now. But I'm still really full from the big meal and dessert that I had earlier during the lunch, so I'm not gonna be able to eat anything immediately. I'm gonna have to get something to go. But wow, there are so many items in here and such a great selection of things, but you definitely have to hunt around to find it all. There are things all over the place here. So here's a more traditional display case. So this is uh, an interesting way to finally get back to a little more traditional bakery item looking place. Here are some more cookies and these all look quite tempting along with some other baked goods on the top row. And then uh, as I look around underneath here, they have a lot of canned goods, jams, jellies, other types of canned items and a whole lot of other stuff. But here's a menu. Let's check out what they have on here. So we see here it says, thank you for choosing to come today to Dutch Made Bakery. We're very pleased that you have chosen to share a meal with us. And we would like to take this time to let you know about some upcoming events and share our vision about the bakery. When John and Louise 
first started the bakery in 1902, they felt that it was important to do things the right way. If it is worth doing, it is worth doing right. We want to make sure that your experience here is just as memorable and unique as possible. Food should be good and the service should be kind and helpful. We use locally grown products from eggs to fresh fruits and vegetables. Every year we celebrate the season with seasonal items and decorations to enhance your time here with us. Please feel free to take pictures. You can join our Facebook family and post on Dutch Made Bakery in Cafe, Tennessee. Holidays are our favorite. Every year on the first full weekend of December, we have an open house that allows you, our family, to come and enjoy new treats as well as the old favorites. If there's an old favorite that we do not have on the day that you come, just let us know and we will be happy to find that recipe and make it for you whenever you would like. It is our constant goal to better serve you. If anything would make your experience better, please feel free to say. Then on the next page, we have our lunch at the bakery with soup of the day, soup and sandwich half combo, cup of soup. Then the sandwich choices on Dutch made breads. And we have our famous Franz chicken salad, ham and Swiss. Deluxe BLT, turkey and Swiss, deluxe grilled cheese, tuna salad, and Reuben on rye with sauerkraut and special sauce, turkey bacon club. Then we have our soup and salad combos, spring salad plate, grilled chicken salad, chef salad, Dutch made bakery salad, and spinach salad. Next, we have breakfast at the bakery with a sunrise special, a country max breakfast, an ultimate omelet feast, a lighter omelet special, a pancake stack, a biscuit and gravy, and a fresh fruit salad. Then on the last page, we have our drinks with Coke products, sweet and unsweet tea, fruit tea, coffee and hot tea, and under desserts, we have caramel apple dumplings, a piece of cake or pie, and alcohol desserts. And then they have photos of the spectacular waterfalls and hiking trails in the area. Comment below if you'd like Nola Gent to make another trip up here and do some of these nature trails and get some footage of that. So they've got a lot of great things on the menu and more fruit preserves over in this corner of the shop. So it's just lots of items all over the place. You get a great selection in this place. It's just overwhelming pretty much about how much stuff you have. And then they really decorate it. So it's like, what's decoration? What's for sale? What's edible? What's not edible? It kind of merges together at some points because it's just all so integrated together and it's very haphazard yet uh, organized way in its own special way. I can honestly say I've never been to a bakery anything like this. A uh, combination of antique store, cafe and bakery is a really unique piece of Americana here in Tennessee. So you definitely should probably make a stop in here to visit for the sheer uniqueness of it. And if you found this place as interesting as I have, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as I'm gonna relax in this rocking chair for a little while and then I'm about to eat what I bought in here. You're gonna see that right now. So, got a little uh, Dutch made bakery treat here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look, it's one of our friends, the gingerbread people. Hey, gingerbread guy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm okay, it's a great day today. I'm having a great time. Oh, that's fantastic, Mr. Gingerbread Man. Well, uh, I think you uh, look pretty delicious. Oh no, don't eat me. No, he's gonna hurt me, no, no, no. Don't eat me, no. Oh, no, 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 we're not gonna eat you, Mr. Gingerbread Man, no. Pretty delicious uh, gingerbread man there. And then also I got an oatmeal cookie. Mm. So, some good baked goods at the uh, Dutch Made Bakery. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. 
So that was much later in the day when I had actual more room in my belly after the big lunch I had to taste the cookies. And they were really good. I thought the gingerbread actually was gonna be hard, crunchy, and crisp, but it was actually soft and very nice. I did enjoy that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Dutch Made Bakery. And be sure to check out our next upcoming videos and check out the playlist at the end of this video now. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.